We have to give them opportunities that will inspire them that they, so they can be like the greatest generation that got off those boats on the beaches of Normandy in order to free the world of tyranny. Talk about boys being uninspired. Yeah. Well, you know, we've had a generation of participation trophies and <laughs> and uh, sports where you don't keep score. You know, boys, uh, where girls are relationship oriented, and boys tend to not be engaged in things where there isn't something at stake. Yeah. And so you put them in a game where you're not keeping score and uh, they play really hard and they come out and they say, who won? And you say, oh, well, we don't, we didn't keep track. It's like, why even try? And that's the question that boys are asking is why even try? Because we're taking risk and competition out of their environment. Boys are built for risk and competition. You got two boys, a five, five, six year old boys come up to you and, and want permission to go to the water fountain. You know, your yes is that starter's pistol firing. I mean, they turn <laughs> they turn it into a race. That they're just naturally wired that way. You didn't teach them that. That's not a social construct. You didn't take that infant and say, "Hey, I want you to be really competitive." And, you know, if it was that easy, we would train boys in all kinds of things from birth. But that is in them. They are wired for risk and competition, and we remove that from their environment. I believe we're we're raising a generation of of, of unproductive narcissists. They're mm -hmm. they're unproductive because we're not expecting enough from them and they're narcissists because we don't let them fail. We're afraid they were somehow gonna damage them emotionally if they lose. Well, losing is where boys learn empathy. Empathy. If they can experience loss and have that feeling of loss, they can then imagine what it feels like for somebody else to lose. So it actually develops empathy in boys, but what we're doing is trying to shield them from these opportunities and it's taking the inspiration away from them. They're saying, why even try? You know, I, I, I worked so hard in that soccer game and, and I got the same trophy as everybody else, you know, next time I'm just gonna kind of take it easy. And that's why we have this failure to launch. You know, there's more young men living at home than have, than have ever lived at home since they started counting that in the 1960 census. And it's because this failure to launch kind of thing where boys, uh, you know, they go out, they get take, get their first job and they think they're gonna get a participation check. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> you actually have to do the work there. And they get fired and they go home and they run back home to mom, hey, you know, he fired me, you know, um, it just, and then they just, they just stay home and where they do excel in an environment that does understand them is video games because the video games give them risk and competition. They keep score. It's clear, clear goals. They get to lose and try harder and win and lose and try harder and win. That's the world that makes sense to boys. And that's why they're going there in droves. And then we criticize them for playing so many video games. So boys can't win for wherever it is that they're going. We have to give them opportunities that will inspire them that they, so they can be like the greatest generation that got off those boats on the beaches of Normandy in order to free the world of tyranny. You know, I mean, these, these sorts of things. We don't have these purpose uh, type things in front of boys anymore where they get to be attached to and identify with something bigger than they are and, 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 to, do, and to do great things. We tend to expect less from them. You know, in fact, we're failing this generation of boys, not because we've over-challenged them, but because we're under-challenging them. And by not giving these opportunities or trusting them in them, we are saying to our boys, we don't think you can do it. We don't think you can be brave. We don't think you can excel. We don't think you can win. And so we're gonna protect you from, the, from, from all of those things because we don't want them to happen to you and hurt your feelings. And it is not helping boys. And it's like you said, it certainly isn't helping girls either because you can look at our history and you say a lot of what we've accomplished as a country is because of winning and focused men backed by and along with and with the strengths of winning and focused women. So this, this is not a value statement. It's a strength statement to say that there are certain strengths that boys have and there's certain strengths that girls have and we've got to appeal to those in order to get the best outcomes. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday.